Adjoining Nairobi National Park, the world's renowned park within the city, Kitengela Glass is equally famous for its transformational art from recycled glass and scraps of other materials into outstanding pieces of art sold all over the world. Well, I think I started it because nobody else was there before us. We have, we've started the, the trend of colored glass. Now, whether it's stained glass or thick block glass, that depends on the, on the client or on the architect. But I'm very glad to see it happening more and more. And yes, there are quite a few other artists out there who do use it now. And uh, there's glass workshops happening everywhere. Um, my part is just now carrying on, you know, making people see how beautiful it is. And, and I'm glad the architects are using it. They should use it more. With the idea having mushroomed after a trip to the plains from a picnic in the 1970s, Nani started the stained glass studio, which at the time had 10 employees, but has grown to employ over 80 personnel. My staff, I've built them uh, artistic houses. They help me building artistic houses. And um, they're from all over. They're not just from around here. My, my staff actually are very multicolored from all over Kenya. Despite the beautifully finished products, Unreliable power supply is a major hindrance to the productivity of the business. We're using old waste oil for our furnaces and uh, it's becoming more and more expensive. We're using gas for the other sides, um, uh, for the soldering and for all sorts of other things. In the little kiln, the little kilns we use gas. And the cost is astronomical. How we manage, I don't know. Every time, every month we need 100 and 90,000 shillings for our gas, you know, who's going to sell that much glass? It's really hard and used oil is also is just shot up because everybody's using it because the other um, fuel prices have gone up. For most visual art ventures, succession planning for their entities years to come is a major concern. And how is Nani addressing this? We've done a business plan now, so things are actually being quite straightened out. I had a wonderful um, sponsor who lent me or sent me two ladies from the London Business School who worked on the business plan and now we're working on a on a funding proposal and um, and I hope somebody can see where it can be helped and even when I go away or lie down for a few minutes it will still carry on. With passion, clear focus and the right personnel the art of entrepreneurship as manifested through Nani's art collection is a clear indication of the vast opportunities available for budding artists. For Eye on Kenya, I am Lois Washira.